and welcome to Art at Home Play on a Tray with Sally Lark from Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. Now, recently in the last session, I showed you how to glaze a pot, and I just thought you'd like to see it's come out of my kiln now, and I thought you'd like to see how pretty it was a grey, muddy sort of colour, and it's come out now a lovely turquoise, shiny glaze. Really exciting when you can finish the process. So I do encourage you that in the future to join a pottery class and to really get the experience of firing. But today I'm going to continue with our slabbing technique. That's rolling clay out with a rolling pin and making flat things. Now we're going to use those flat things today to make tube pots. And they're quite easy to make but you will need a tube of some sort and some newspaper and some tape. And then you'll also need a knife and a rolling pin and something like an old pencil to draw with at the end. So, let's get your bag of clay. Now, I hope you're keeping your clay nicely wrapped up and then it will last for ages. It can last for years, actually, if you keep it in a really cool, damp place. So, good to get into the habit of folding the bag up all the time. So, you'll need... A moderate amount of clay is a big handful depends how big your tube is actually if it's tiny then um, you'll need less clay now you can just use a toilet roll so if you haven't got a sort of tube it could be the tube from an old carpet roll or a bit of pipe or anything now start off by rolling your clay with your hands so squeezing it so you're doing some of the work for yourself first of all then whoop, Sorry, getting wobbly. You're going to roll out your clay. Now you need to make sure that you roll out your clay so that it can go all the way round to build a tube pot. So I can roughly measure that with a piece of string as being about that long. So I'm just going to roll it out a bit more. Now I'm just doing this by eye and I'm remembering to roll on a piece of fabric and that's so that it doesn't stick to the table. So I've rolled out my nice piece of clay. Then I'm going to get my tube ready. So you're going to get a piece of newspaper and I've just folded that roughly in half and then I am going to put the newspaper around the tube. Now the trick with this is not to have it too tight because we're going to build the pot around the tube and then when it's dry enough, we're going to take the tube out because the tube's basically acting like scaffolding. So you want to make sure that your newspaper can slide. You're not trying to wrap it as tightly as possible. And then just a little bit of any sort of tape just to secure your tube on. So there you can see it's quite loose. Um, so I'll put that there ready. So then when you're ready, we're going to, now I've, I've forgotten again to get all my equipment ready. So I'm just gonna use the edge of my rolling pin to cut. So it just shows that in pottery, you can use your initiative and your imagination. And I'm going to cut all the way along. Now don't try and make your pot too tall. Something about that sort of high is what we're aiming for. So you've got your nice strip of clay. Then I'm going to cut the end off and that's going to come in handy later for something else. It's going to be the base. Then you're going to wrap your pot your tube around and I've left it just exactly the right amount. Now I've left one end uncut because I'm going to use that end. I just wanted to cut it when I was sure I had enough clay and I'm going to create a little overlap. So I'm just going to show you that now. So I'm having the edge of the pot almost like a cardigan where it joins and then we're going to create the join and leave that showing so it becomes a feature, it becomes part of the pot. So, 
you've got your pot there, you checked it was the right size, then you get your toothbrush. Do you remember our scratch and slip? So we're going to scratch both surfaces. And then join it together. We've already got a little wrap pot. Then what you can do once you've got to that stage, and that's just a little bit small, so I'm just going to roll it out slightly to get it slightly bigger. And I'm going to put the roll that bit onto the base. Can you see? And I'm going to scratch and slip on both sides. Now you'll see it becomes quite sturdy with, it, with the scaffolding of the tube. So then we're going to stick that onto there. And then I'm going to use my knife to cut round. It's actually easier to cut round in a sort of arc shapes. Then you can just very gently with your finger smooth the sides and you've got a perfect little tube pot. Now I'm going to show you how a way of decorating our little tube pots in a minute but before we do that I'm just going to get you to smooth up the sides and tidy it up and just to tell you about an artist that we have in our collection at the Art Gallery and Museum and that is Edmund Duval. Now he throws his pots on a wheel and they're made of porcelain but there are lots and lots of little tube shapes and it's amazing how multiples of tube shapes all together in his collections of pots becomes very, very beautiful. So the exciting bit is when you get to this stage, you can take your tube out. If you leave the tube in while the pot is drying, it will crack because it shrinks. So you do need to take the tube out, but the newspaper can stay in for now. So what we're going to do with an old pencil is I'm going to show you a way to design a pattern on your pot that for me reminds me of all the beautiful hedgerows and lovely wild flowers that I've seen as I've walked through various parks and gardens in Leamington and Warwick over the last few weeks. So I'm going to almost with my, the back end of the pencil create little buttons on the join. Can you see that? So I'm making a feature of the join. And then using just a blunt pencil, I'm gonna have a go at drawing. So here we have a bluebell shape. And then if you can draw almost like a U shape, with lots of lines, you have some of the lovely shapes that we see in nature. Now it might be better for you to do this stage when your pot is slightly drier and you could do small patterns or big patterns. You could press along the edge of the top to create a rim. Now I have had some feedback that some people would like to know some better ways of decorating their pots when they're finished. So next week I'm going to start the video by showing you a way of decorating this tube pot with shoe polish. So do have a look for some old shoe polish, maybe a brown or a black. I'm going to show you a really fun way of making your pot look more finished. So until next time, have fun. Remember to keep repeat learning, make two or three, see how you go and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.